Hello friends. I hope you all had a really good week and have some fun weekend plans coming up. Here in DC, we're going to go to the National Book Festival and I hope to film some of that for you guys um, for next week's video. But today we are drawing a brunch scene with multiple figures. In my continuing study about composition, I read an amazing book that I'm gonna link down below called The Simple Secret to Better Painting by Greg Albert. This book is straight to the point and a really quick read, but it's completely changed the way that I think about constructing a piece. Greg Albert is the art dad I didn't know I needed, honestly, and a lot of the theories and concepts he mentions are one that many artists know already. The difference with this book is that he applies them in a super practical and understandable way. And basically I found myself <clears throat> going, well, duh, of course this makes sense the entire time. Never before have I seen a book that has things so clearly spelled out, and I can't recommend it enough for anyone who is in a similar point like me who feels stuck in their artistic growth. This is a total game changer. The last chapter of the book focuses on figures, and I was really inspired by this painting I'm popping up the screen right now, called Three Women at Lunch by Ernie Westerman. I decided to design my own similar brunch scene using a different perspective and figures placed in a similar triangle arrangement. I designed my color palette for this piece off camera and you'll see me pull from chips on the left hand side. But basically I used a combination of the lasso tool and my paintbrush to create the flats. For this piece, I don't want harsh outlines around every object. So what I'm doing here is locking the transparent pixels and then choosing the colors that I've already filled in the shape with to color the outline as well. You can also see that for shadows and accents like on the sweater or um, on the jeans that I've chosen a darker color, usually the one that's in the shadow to create that accent.
Here's the point where I started playing with texture and how I wanted the overall tone of the piece to feel. I just chose a large gouache brush from the Kyle Webster brush pack and played with overlapping different colors and tones on the figures to see what felt right. I used a purpley blue tone for some things and picked another pink tone for other things. And here is the final illustration. If you enjoyed this video and made it to the end, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more Friday art videos. Get out there and make something today.